Hi, I've played cards all my life and found that tabletop cribbage is one of my favorites. It uses the basics of crib scoring. Cards are played to a five by five layout. One player or a team tries to form rows or columns and maximize scoring and minimize the opponent's scoring. If there are four players, deal six cards to each player and place in a stack in front of the player. Then put one card face up in the middle Players can only look at the top card when it's their turn or just after their partner's turn. Then they play the card at their turn. Play is clockwise and remaining cards are not in play. If there are two players, deal 12 cards to each player and place in the stack in front of them. Then place one card face up in the middle. Players can only look at one card at a time and play that card at their turn. The play consists of playing the dealt cards to form a five by five square laid out centered with the middle card. The player to the deal is left begins and the turn to play passes clockwise. At your turn, you turn up the top card, your stack, and place it face up on the layout. The card must be played on an empty space and it must touch at least one card already in the layout, either side by side, end to end, or corner by corner. Cards cannot be placed more than two spaces away from the center card as they would be outside the limits of the final layout. The cards are turned up one at a time. When placing a card, you're not allowed to know any of your own future cards or those of other players. In the four player game, partners may discuss with each other where each of their cards should be placed. Decision is made by the player placing the card. In the team game, it's particularly important that you're not allowed to know your own next card when advising on a placement of the partner's cards. This example shows where the next play can be made and blanks are places where cards cannot be played. Scoring is the same as regular crib. The partners or player facing the up and down of the layout will score for cribbage combinations in each of the five columns, while the partners facing up the sides of the cards will score each of the five rows. The counting of each row and column is done as normal cribbage. The scoring combinations are the same as crib, but Four card flushes are zero points. This is an example of scoring at the end of a hand. The game usually goes up to 121 points as a standard crib game, but it can be adjusted according to uh, your needs. If you want to play quicker, it could be 40 points. If you want to play longer, it could be 200 points. The player team with most points on the last hand, when the 121 or the agreed upon limit is wins and the scoring is simultaneous therefore if somebody scores 127 points versus one at 122 the 127 wins you can use pen or a crib board for the scoring the objective is to get a large score while minimizing your opponent's score you can block your opposition by playing non-scoring cards to eliminate runs or high scores watch your opponent to see what strategies they're using when possible, it is good to start several potential high scoring rows for your side, so the opponents will find it difficult to block all of them. Some games are played with four specific locations where the up and down or side by side individuals can only play in those four locations. One variation is to have all the cards in a hand and play one card at a time. This easy to learn brand of crib is more challenging, strategic, tactical, and entertaining versus standard crib. Have fun.